Hello everyone. How the Bible exterminates the Trinity. First, please take a minute or two and have a look at the following passages of Scripture. Billy's God. Billy's God is the Trinity, a triune God, a three-person God. Jesus Christ God is not this God of Billy's. Jesus Christ God is not the Trinity. The triune God is not Jesus Christ's God. Billy's Trinity God is not Jesus Christ's God. There is only one true God, and Billy's God is not 
Jesus Christ's God. Which God will you choose to serve? Billy's triune God? Or Jesus Christ's God? There are three things for certain. There is only one true God. There is only one God. Jesus had a God, and Jesus has a God. And we know his God is that one and only true God. And that one and only true God is his God, Jesus Christ's God. Moses speaks about Israel's God. Jesus was an Israelite. To you it was shown that you might know that the Lord, he is God and there is no other besides him. Know therefore today and take it to your heart that the Lord, he is God in heaven above and on the earth below and there is no other. Deuteronomy 4, 35 to 39. Is Moses referring to the only true God? Is Moses referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course Moses is referring to Jesus Christ's God. Moses has to be referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one true God to refer to. Yahweh speaks. See now that I, I am he, and there is no God besides me. Is this Jesus Christ God speaking? Of course it is. It has to be Jesus Christ's God speaking. There is only one God, his God. David in the Spirit speaks. For this reason you are great, O Yahweh God, for there is none like you, and there is no God besides you. Is David speaking to Jesus Christ's God? Of course he is. David has to be speaking to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one true God for David to speak to. Jesus Christ's God. Yahweh speaks, I am the first and I am the last and there is no God besides me. I, the Lord, am the maker of all things, stretching out the heavens by myself and spreading out the earth all alone. Isaiah 44, 6 and 24. Is that Jesus Christ God? speaking there. Of course it is. It has to be Jesus Christ God speaking. There is only one true God, his God. I am the Lord, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another. Is that Jesus Christ God speaking? Of course it is. It has to be Jesus Christ God speaking. There is only one true God. His God. Before me there was no God formed and there will be none after me. I, I am the Lord and there is no Savior apart from me. Did Jesus Christ God say that? 
Of course he did. It has to be Jesus Christ God who said that. There is only one true God, his God. Thus you will know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is no one else. Is this Jesus Christ's God who said that? Of course it is. It has to be Jesus Christ God who said that. There's only one true God in play. His God. In fact, Jesus explicitly told us his God said that. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. Is this referring to Jesus Christ God? Of course it is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God to refer to. Two. There is only one God for Matthew to refer to. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Is this referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course it is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God to refer to. What commandment is the foremost of all? Jesus answered, the foremost is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus and a Jewish scribe. Are they talking about Jesus Christ's God? Of course they are talking about Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God of Israel to refer to. Our God. Notice he says, our God. That's what the Shema command says. Jesus was an Israelite too. An Israelite among Israelites. He had to obey the Shema command like everybody else. Our God. The one and only God of both Jesus and this scribe. The Lord, our God. Of course, they are talking about Jesus, Christ's God. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Is Thomas referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course Thomas is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God for Thomas to refer to. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Is John referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course John is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God for John to refer to. 
eagerly awaiting the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. Is Paul referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course Paul is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God for Paul to refer to, Jesus Christ's God. In righteousness of the God of us and Savior, Jesus Christ. Is Peter referring to Jesus Christ's God? Of course Peter is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one true God for Peter to refer to. There is only one God for Peter to refer to. Two, Jesus Christ's God. And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Is Jesus referring to his God? Of course Jesus is referring to his God. There is only one God for Jesus to refer to. His God, the God of Israel. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true, and we are in Him who is true, in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life is John referring to Jesus Christ's God. Of course John is referring to Jesus Christ's God. There is only one God for John to refer to. Father, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Jesus is the way to the Father the only true God. He said, believe in God, believe also in me, John 14, 1. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Notice what John said next, little children. Keep yourself from idols. Idols as opposed to the true God. You see, if you know there is only one true God, one God, then all you need to know is who Jesus Christ's God is and is not to know the true identity of the one God. And his God was not a trinity. Who will you serve? Billy's three-person God or Jesus Christ's God? Choose wisely, lest you fall headlong into idolatry. May God bless you.